Alice Keitler was a rich woman who didn't have any luck in the marriage department. Her husbands kept dying on her. Plus, she wasn't very liked in the village. Perhaps it was the fact that she was involved in the husband's demise. Even the church was looking at her with distrust. Poisonings, witchcraft, and an incubus lover. This woman's life was interesting. Born on Halloween, October 31st of 1263, an only child of a merchant family around Flemingstown in Kilkenny County, Ireland. She married William Outlaw in 1280. They had a kid together before William died in 1302, under weird circumstances. The same year, she married Adam LeBlond. But the honeymoon was short because both of them were accused of the murder of her first husband. The charges were dismissed, though. LeBlanc dies and in 1309 marries Richard Val, a wealthy guy who died in 1316, leaving her filthy rich. She was grieving but with a lot of money, which made people not like her. You can be rich and depressed, you know? And someone who really didn't like her was Richard Ladrid, Bishop of Ossory in Kilkenny. She was a woman with money that enjoyed hanging out with Ireland's elite. The bishop didn't like that one bit. In 1316, she got married again to Sir John Lepore. He fell ill and died eight years later. Everybody thought he was poisoned. This was enough, so Lepore's children, alongside Alice's kids, got together and accused her of witchcraft. Why not murder? I don't know. I guess witchcraft is it. The kids gave the bishop a bunch of random objects that, honestly, come on. Pieces of unbaptized babies, satanic dust, and oh my god, my personal favorite. Cadaver toenails boiled on a thief's skull. How did the kids know all of this? The bishop could care less though, because he really didn't like Alice. So he asked Roger Outlaw, Ireland's chancellor, to put her in prison. But Alice Uno reversed the decision by talking to her brother-in-law, Arnold Lepore, who was Kilkenny's seneschal, making the bishop the one behind bars. So hooray for nepotism. John Darcy, Lord Justice of Ireland, heard of all of this nonsense and took the bishop out of prison and started a trial against Alice. In the trial, the bishop accused Alice of witchcraft and so much more. Having sex with demons. How did he know? <laughs> the incubus had a name as well. Robin Artisan. This guy really didn't like Alice. And the killings of the husbands, of course. Alice was in a wealthy position and the bishop was afraid to go after her without proof. This is weird because accusing her of touching peepees with a demon takes some balls. So he thought of an idea. Why don't I, a bishop, God's child, the messenger of everything good, torture Alice's maid, Petronila the Meat, in exchange for some information? Well, he did just that. Alice knew what the bishop was planning, so before he arrived with his fantastic news, she escaped. The bishop was pissed. He really didn't like Alice. My thoughts? He wanted to bang her. <laughs> anyway, he wanted blood, so instead of Alice being executed, poor Petronila was the one who paid for her boss. She was burning the stake on November 3rd of 1324. Interestingly, these people were more interested in the witchcraft part, not the alleged quadruple murder. Back then, everything was witchcraft. <laughs> Dead people's nails boiled in a dude's skull who was a robber in the- Oh jeez, come on, so stupid. She could have been guilty of poisoning her husband, sure, but let's not forget that the lifespan around that time was like, what, 30? She was a businesswoman, and people were horrified by it, including her own kids. I wonder what Alice's last years were. Probably got married. The question is, did he die? <laughs> I think that will be bad luck. Or good business practice? Tell me in the comments what do you think.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. What do you think about Alice? She was the first in being declared a witch, by the way. Your thoughts on the creepy bishop? Let them down below. I hope you're well, and I will see you later. Stay safe.